Okay, everybody. Today, I wanted to share maybe one of the most uh, uh, epical or uh, amazing uh, channeling experiences that uh, we have uh, had. It's not like it's the only one, but I think it's one of the most uh, uh, mind-blowing experiences. So, uh, just before I start this video, I wanted to tell what was going on. Uh, we, uh, uh, we were like... Uh, six friends uh, uh, going to the uh, seaside seashore and we decided to just stay the night there you know warm summer warm summer a campfire and you know just sleep sleep in the sea seaside and uh, then we noticed like in the evening uh, when it was dark already that there is somebody like dead uh, walking around us like a spirit that's walking around us and we decided that uh, we understood that this is uh, somebody who has died. Um, and I thought, ah, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna channel. Uh, Linda was also there. She also said she doesn't wanna channel. But there was also a friend there who uh, who uh, uh, who was uh, who also was a channeler. And he said, okay, I wanna try. And I was like, okay. And then what happened? What it turned out, the friend all of a sudden started speaking a pure Irish accent. And he was describing his situation, where he is, what he's doing, and everything, and what happened. So in this video, I want to just share a little bit of this experience. What are you doing in horse there? <laughs> You're walking there with the pal. Just a moment ago. But, uh, for, for, you, for you, it's probably hours ago. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Hour before? Oh, that uh, Several hours, sir. You guys so it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. But anyways, folks, I just wanted to uh, say uh, greetings and uh, there's nothing not much really. Uh. Yeah, you're very good, very nice man. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. So what is he telling? The, the, the spirit is telling that uh, he saw us like a couple hours ago when uh, this one of his pals, uh, no, which were, we were there, one of our pals there, was reading something, uh, some kind of readings in, in his head, uh, uh, hand. Uh, well, it was like a mobile phone, and uh, he said, "Yeah, yeah, that, that that's when I first saw you, maybe a couple hours ago, maybe for you, it's a couple hours ago." That was the, that was the, like, there's some things that he tells that are like you need to think about. What is he actually telling? You're very kind of yourself, sir. Yeah, it's it's very really interesting that you came here and uh, you, we can speak to you. It's uh, so amazing. Me, it's just a bit. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> what are you gonna do now? <laughs> uh, you enjoy yourself? Well, well, I would say it's pretty nice change though. Um. What I had here is my body is still lying in the sea. Uh, it's not a farm here though. And the place is pretty deep. There's a there's a big a big uh, uh, how do you call it uh, a, a force a force in your chest that presses you down. You can't really breathe <coughs> at all. <laughs> uh, it's 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 like uh, this uh, this heavy burden lying upon you all the time. And uh, it's just nice to feel a change now. And I'm out of here, the lad. He, he's feeling the same way now. How far is this from this coast? Uh, a, a few miles, so I say. When it happened? Uh, a couple of the, years the, ago. The, the, year, the year was uh, the year was eighteen sixty one. Okay. It was uh, quite a long time ago, man. It was indeed. So Me and my crew, my, I'm we sorry, were... I'm sorry, but uh, maybe uh, you want to sing something? <laughs> some some song? Did you sing? <laughs> some whiskey song. Uh, <laughs> the Irish song. Okay. Oh. And uh, this will be the most uh, craziest thing that will happen right now. He will start singing an Irish song. <laughs> now this will be uh, this will be fun. Oh yeah, Chris. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was seventeen seventy four. I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. Oh yeah. 
It's a bit hard to just give me a moment to. Sure. When a little of marks came from the king, from a scammy ass whistler, I ever seen, goddamn them all. <laughs> I was towing crews, seas for American boat, which saw no guns, shed no tears. <laughs> I'm a broken man on Halifax Pier, last of a Barrett's privateers. <laughs> Oh my god! When Nelson Barrett came to town, I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. <laughs> with a bloody hoe, Yankee hoe inside, and we're cacked for buzz we'd made a fight, goddamn them all. I was told we cruise seas for American gold with far no guns, shed no tears. I'm a broken man on Halifax be the last of a Barrett's privateers. <laughs> You are very good. Uh, thank you, sir. <laughs> it's a, thank you. It's a bit hard. <laughs> wow. It's amazing, man. Well, there's more to the song, though. Uh, the, the song here. Okay. Ah. Uh, Shit, I'm a growth mother. I don't know how smart we are. So, and everybody was enjoying and laughing and everything. And um, now the funniest thing in this uh, story is that 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 the the person who channeled isn't a singer. No, he's an Irish accent. No, nothing. And maybe you can listen to his voice a little bit. Everybody's laughing and enjoying it. Ah! Hey, Red Zay. Ah! And like he's coming back and he wanted to talk a little bit and uh, share his experience. That's a Latvian language. But how do you say it? Red Zay is with him. No, 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 it's not. Viņš jau viņu satika, tad pat tās nenerģētiski. Look, I heard a little bit of his voice, and he was asking, "Do you even speak English?" He said, "No, English I speak, but you know, not like in you know, such an accent." So anyway, so uh, the I like uh, some people who don't know what's channeling after this experience, if they are present to it, if they are watching it, they will definitely know what's channeling, or even have a a, a little bit of a larger perspective. Keep in mind one thing that uh, that how the voice changed, how the uh, sing a song which he has never heard, and then the biggest question is, does a song like this actually exist? And then. Uh, the friends also, which friends we had there, they started to search for uh, this video and they found oh, this video. Oh, the year of 1778, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. I mean, they found the song. From the king to the scummiest vessel I've ever seen, god damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for American gold, we'd fire no guns, shed no tears. Now I'm a broken man on a Halifax pier, the last of Barrett's privateers. Oh, well, Sid Barrett cried the town, how I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. For twenty brave men, all fishermen, who would Make for him the antelope's crew, God damn them all. I was told we'd cruise the seas for America. So now you're gonna say, How the hell is that possible? Or maybe now you'll say, Well, that's amazing, or that's interesting. And there are many, many people who, who can do things like this. And uh, the, the most extraordinary thing is that what I think is that, for example, if and some this friend also many times says that, Oh, he doesn't want to channel drunk. Lithuanians, that's that's difficult. They start to speak Lithuanian something and something else, uh, some some other languages as well. But the funniest or maybe the interesting thing about this is that uh, people think that memory exists in the brain, 
but after this experience something that has never been known or never understood or never actually know how to speak uh like a, let's say sing like like I, I call it, this is a really professional singing uh, which which he was bringing through that i think it's actually really there's a much more i think greater things that we can learn uh, from such experiences and maybe learn about ourselves but nevertheless it was a really really ex exciting and a really mind-blowing experience uh, especially the singing you know something else but especially the singing it was really really uh, extraordinary so this is what i wanted to share to you uh, one of the most amazing channeling experience and maybe see you guys soon in another video and bye bye